I began my whole career actually working with the AIDS community about 23 years ago. In those days, you were diagnosed, you were dead in three months. There was no questions asked. That's just what it was. And myself and about five other people came together in San Diego, California, and we developed the AIDS Holistic Response Program. We had body workers. We had science of mind ministers for prayer treatments. We had chiropractors. We had, we had a dentist. Um, and we had me. And what I did is I taught A Course in Miracles. Anybody from my Course in Miracles? I taught The Course in Miracles. In fact, Bill Thetford, the man who co-wrote it, used to come to our group and sit in the back very quietly. So I taught The Course in Miracles, and I did group rebirthing. Anybody familiar with group rebirthing? Okay. Well, rebirthing is a process of super oscillating your body. The premise is that when you are in trauma, you stop breathing, and the trauma gets locked into the body. So through super oscillating the body through connected breath work, you actually release that. So imagine, if you would, having 70 to 100 people in a room facing death in three months and allowing every unexpressed emotion to be expressed in your presence. It was very intense work. There were evenings during the group rebirths where literally you could cut the presence of the angelic realm with a knife. It was, it was incredible. It was some of the most beautiful experiences I've ever had with groups of people. What I found was that I was deeply desiring to find ways to move people to resolution quickly. Quickly. I knew that 90% of us rested at the subconscious level. If you're going to work either on yourself or with other people, don't you think you'd want to learn how to work with a 90% rather than the 10% at the cognitive level? Just made sense to me. So I started studying hypnosis, became a master hypnotherapist. Out of hypnosis, I began to become involved in neurolinguistic programming. And I've been there ever since because I've yet to find anything better. For me, the art and science of neurolinguistic programming is to bring to consciousness what we do all the time unconsciously so that we can do it with intent. And when we do that, our family relationships improve, our relationship with ourselves improve, our business relationships improve, and our relationships to what we feel is possible becomes exponentially changed.